Mosasaur couldn't do any of that. So what they've done is to basically make a toothed conveyor belt to help sort of track the prey down its throat. You can look at Mosasaur fossils, and you can look at modern analogs that have a skull that works in a broadly analogous way. But sometimes building a model tells you something you just can't find out any other way. Dr. Lamb works with real effects in North Hollywood, California to build a life-size Mosasaur skull, complete with a set of death-dealing jaws. The massive steel jaws are powered by pneumatics instead of muscles and ligaments. Never thought I'd see a steel Mosasaur skull, but this is very cool looking. We've got three pneumatics, We've got two operators to run it, and we've reduced it to three basic motions. One set of pneumatics opens and closes the jaws. One set moves it backwards and forwards. And the third set runs the pterygoids in the roof of the mouth. The pterygoids are the terminator teeth. No other ocean predator has them. A second set of teeth running down the roof of the mouth. These are a truly fiendish adaptation. They actually work independently to move the prey backwards in the throat and also to hold it still, to pin it down as it opens its mouth for the next bite. Now we see how these jaws worked in deadly concert. The bite, the ratcheting jaw, the Terminator teeth. Test one. Find out what the Mosasaur's first bite would do to any creature unlucky enough to get on the wrong end of these teeth. Mosasaurs had a really big bite. So we've got a piece of foam that would be about the same size as an eight or nine foot long shark or maybe part of the neck of a long neck plesiosaur. We're gonna put it sideways in this Mosasaur model's mouth and just see exactly what would have happened. Well, that's gonna leave a mark, isn't it? That's a broken neck. I'm pretty convinced that this thing would have probably killed something with the first bite. First time it bit down and ratcheted back like that, the thing's neck is broken. Test two, measure the capacity of its bite. Very simply, when our metal Mosasaur chomps, how much ersatz meat goes into its mouth? We've got this piece of foam with four inch squares painted on it. We're gonna feed it to this Mosasaur and see how much with each bite this thing would have dragged its prey down its throat. In one bite, our Mosasaur easily consumes four feet of flesh. That means this Mosasaur could eat a 20-foot animal in five bites or an adult human in a single gulp. It's not just the size of the bite. Inside the mouth, the teeth are virtual meat hooks. Dr. Lamb demonstrates with a hunk of ballistics gel, which is similar in consistency to human flesh. If you put a piece of meat in the mouth, it can't move out because the tips of the teeth grab it like a fish hook. So we're just gonna see if we can put this up here on these teeth. You can't come out this way as you're caught on these teeth. The only way you can really go is further into the mouth, which is really not the direction you wanna be going. And let's just see what happens here. Well, I don't think there's any doubt that you wouldn't want to be a swimmer in the Lake Cretaceous Ocean. You can actually see tooth marks where it just cut right through about 10 pounds of flesh like it was just butter. That would be nasty. The only good thing about this is that you'd probably be in shock after a bite like this. Maybe you wouldn't feel the rest of it. Final test how the jaws perform eating simulated live prey. 
The first fish is immediately trapped on the barb-like teeth. And the rest? Well, straight down the old mosasaur hatch. In 20 seconds, our captive mosasaur can eat 500 pounds of fish. Why? It doesn't bother to chew them. There's a rapidly vanishing cloud of red and a few scales, and that's all that's left of it. For dessert, they test an item that Mosasaur never had the opportunity to eat. Sure, what we learned by that, but that was, uh, was quite satisfying. It's abundantly clear why Mosasaur is the ultimate success story of evolution, growing from a three foot lizard into an alpha predator. Although this mega beast drove all its enemies into extinction, fossil evidence suggests another enemy took their place. And this enemy is something the Mosasaur has never seen before. From its humble beginnings as a three-foot lizard, the Mosasaur evolved into the most dominant megabeast the world has ever seen. Nothing in the ocean can kill it, let alone live with it. But the threat may have come from another direction. What we're looking at here is what I would like to call a paleo crime scene. It's a very old cold case file. Scientists studying mosasaur fossils find evidence of attacks on these giant reptiles. There's a healed bite mark here, this raised ridge. There's a second puncture wound here with this lip of reactive healed bone around it. There are two marks up here on the top of the skull, and it probably killed the, the animal fairly quickly. What animal is vicious enough to attack the deadliest creature in the sea? And we can measure the distance between those bites, and we can marry it up with the jaw of another larger mosasaur, and the teeth fit perfectly into those holes. It makes perfect sense. The only thing mosasaur had to fear may have been mosasaur itself. Experts think that mosasaurs engaged in snout wrestling or face biting to establish dominance. We see really analogous behavior in modern saltwater crocs. Almost always the males, and they're defending a breeding or feeding territory. A mosasaur battle unfolds like a bizarre undersea ballet. establishes dominance, the other gives up and swims away. This type of competition is common animal behavior. But scientists uncover something shocking in this particular set of fossils. Evidence that suggests not simple predation, but something close to murder. We've got the fossil evidence that shows that mosasaurs killed other mosasaurs, and they didn't eat them. I mean, it wasn't for food. By looking at the damage on the skull, Everhart believes that this wrestling match turned deadly. The fossil evidence shows the dominant mosasaur clamps down on his opponent's skull. And as the skull of the mosasaur rolled to the side, these teeth pulled out and left these big drag marks across the bone, very deep wounds. Not only is the skull crushed, but evidence suggests the killer then broke the victim's neck. 
we found the neck 